lot of people were disappointed that Titan's Return Nightbeat was just a head and no robot body. But fortunately, Thrilling 30 a few years earlier had given us uh, the first new Nightbeat toy since, what, the Botcon Hotshot Redeco? And so came a new influx of Nightbeat customs, including this one right here. Now obviously, it's based on the Thrilling 30 Nightbeat toy, which is, in turn, a retool. Retool, it's retool, it's just a new head and a new paint job. It's a new head retool of the earlier Goldbug and Bumblebee figures, all from the same toy line. And a big turnoff on the Titans Nightbeat toy for a lot of people was this ugly, ugly face. But fortunately, Shapeways is a thing. And there are multiple alternate heads and faces for Nightbeat already available from Shapeways stores. And that's precisely what I use to create this headmaster. Now you'll notice I changed the arms too. Both the face and the arms are available from Steam Shield's shop. From Steam Sh yeah, from Steam Shield's shop on Shapeways. I'll have both of them linked in the description. And they're not the only Shapeways parts I use on this toy. But we'll get to that later. The entire headmaster's been painted blue uh, head, face, and legs, yellow body, and upper thighs, and face, black antenna. Had a bit of trouble fitting the arms, but overall, oh well, turned out pretty good. Now, I don't remember what Nightbeat's headmaster partner uh, was named in Hasbro materials. As Hasbro's explanation for headmasters and power masters just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So, I'm going by Japanese uh, rules, which ironic, which funny enough, Nightbeat was never a character. Nightbeat was never a character in Japan until the Legends comic. The Titans toy did get released in Legends with a more toy accurate deco as just an alternate version of Minerva. Now, of course, because this figure was released years before Titans Return came out, there's nowhere to actually store the Headmaster in vehicle mode. But if you're a guy like me, that's not really a big concern. So the alt mode I decided to just keep completely blue. No yellow accents or anything. The windows and the headlights are all... Bl and the wheels are all blacked out. Just to give it more of an aggressive Mustang look. Uh, I chose... For the body... A Mr. Metallic color, uh, dark blue, because of its close resemblance to the metallic blue that Ford uses on uh, Mustangs, like the Shelby GT350. The flames came from a Repro label set, which I bought on sale. Other than that, the only stickers from that set that I used on the vehicle mode were the license plate, which in Leet speak spells out night, vaguely resembles Nightbeat. Here on the tail lights, uh, my original plan was to use uh, some testers turn signal red enamel, which I'd used on Motormaster and I think one other Stunicon. Uh, but this stuff had gotten really tacky since the last time I used it, and uh, didn't really have the best results. Spilled out over my map. Masking and I used multiple layers of masking tape didn't help so I just scraped that all off blacked out the lights and uh, Use a toothpick which some of the paint on it to repair the damage Well, all the blue is airbrushed the black is all hand painted and went over all of it with a layer of semi-gloss enamel. I actually think this is might be my best uh custom yet, who, if you'll remember, came out super nice, com especially compared to my first two customs. But that's basically the alt mode done with, so let's get this baby into robot mode.
And so here is Nightbeat in his robot mode. And you can see that I used some Shapeways parts to modify the main body as well. Both of these come from, uh, was it Benetron's Tinkering Shop? I'll also have these linked in the description. But first of all, we've got a torso extension kit, and we've also got this clip-on chest piece. It is a little loose fitting, but I just put some clear gloss on the nub that plugs into the bottom part of his chest here. And that seems to have remedied the problem a little. And obviously all of these parts are meant to make him closer to in appearance to his uh, design in, Mo in the More Than Meets the Eye comic. Which shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone because it's one of the most popular Transformers comics of all time, as far as I can tell. Now for the most part this yellow is also airbrushed. It had to do a little brush painting on the face and body. But the yellow is uh, Tamiya flat yellow. And I also went over that with the clear gloss. And overall, he, and overall he came out really well. Uh, I do have a bit of a problem with these loose knees. But I think a little Nail, I think a little, inject a little gloss into there and that'll tighten them up. Maybe some nail polish remover, but I don't know what that'll do to the paint. But anyway, it retains the same articulate, retains almost the same articulation as the original. He's actually got a little more now because of the Titan Master's ball joint. Anyway, arms go out that far. The arms rotate at the elbow, which I will, which I still I uh, have problems with on a few figures. Uh, well, I forgot to cut off this little nub above the elbow, which kind of restricts the movement with these stupid, with the st stupid way that these forearms were designed. But I think just cut those off and patch it up with the little black paint. Yeah, that'll do no harm. I really wish this mold had wrist articulation. That would benefit it so much. Uh, and I'm surprised no one's already made a forearms kit. But I digress. You've got your actually kind of tight waist swivel, your ball joint head knees, knees, and your also kind of tight thighs, which are which compared to the elbows are actually in their right place. And quite a special thing for a Transformers mold of this era, ankles. So the mold comes with two of whatever these things are, but these suck and no one likes them. So instead I opted to give him a pair of these. And they're just a couple of pistols from Mechanoid Arsenal. Again, this will be down in the description. But they're just a couple of semi-automatic pistols with 5mm posts. And they just plug in just plug into his hand like so. And they're painted up with uh, the same gun metal that I used uh, for uh, Ratbat's uh, forearms, thighs, and feet. And of course, Nightbeat is essentially the Dick Tracy of Transformers. So, you know, thought a couple of pistols suits him well. So that's my custom Titans Return Nightbeat. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to Die Instantly.